My name is Damo. You're in this bitch. Tuned into the motherfucking channel. And I'm here to answer some goddamn questions. Bitch. Yeah. Huh. Pull up in a bitch real deep with a bankroll Came in the door like damn with a peso Hit so high but I'm always finna lay low Worry about me, I don't get it cause a boy ain't no Fuck you screaming cause my mental about to break Never been a bitch, I put titties on the tray Whipping up a pie but I'm getting to the cake I don't wanna fuck so these bitches try to rape Got me hundred rounds right at your stomach Made my whole mood like fuck it huh? Talking all tough, now his ass full running Put you me in a fight, why you gotta be bluffing Big chillin', big coolin'. This is my first fucking interview, so I feel a little odd, but hey, I just didn't think I would be having one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight like that. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to fuck shit up. Uh, kind of wish I wasn't sober, but you know, big chillin'. <laughs> yeah. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. You know, I reside in Ohio. Right now, currently, it's where headquarters is, where I work from, Greenville, South Carolina, that's home. The motherfuckers there are either super rich or kind of poor. Like, it's not too much of a scene in between. It's just one or the fucking other. You're one or the other. See, my family, we was like the poor guy, but you know, I was never really liked too much by the fucking richer people. I mean, I was more so like that fucking kid that was <laughs> getting into trouble and selling drugs all the time and shit. They called me like the man, the myth, the legend. I don't know. That's just how I was getting down. I would always be hearing that shit way back over there, but that's beside the point. I was getting into some mamba jamble. Greenville, South Carolina, motherfucking Lana. That's where I'm from. That's where I'm from. Music. I've been making music for a grip. Like, I started when I moved to Ohio, like, uh, I want to say, like, almost four years ago. Almost. Like, it's like it's been like three, almost four years that I've been doing this shit. You know, I just, I always wanted to do it, you know? Like, that's the thing. I always saw myself doing it. And I was always good at, at like, freestyling and shit. But, like, getting on a mic or going to a studio or something and fucking making something, I never really did that until I got here. And, yeah, I just started fucking doing it <laughs> and making shit happen. I made all kinds of fucking music, really. It took me a while to really find my sound, but I'm content with where I'm at now. I think I, I know now more than ever what I'm good at and what works for me. I have mm, Donald's definitely dibble dabbled around in the motherfucking drug world. You know, I never did anything too too fucking crazy like meth or heroin or some shit. But, you know, I I do my shit. You know, uh, I like, but I do. I just really smoke weed. That's really it. Every once in a while, I might like pop some Adderall or something if I really got some shit to get done. And I gotta be like up and fucking like get shit done, get shit done, get shit done. Why do I beat people up at my shows? Huh. Well, um, I like it. I love it. Something about the rage and just letting shit out. Cause see, when I go to a show to do my thing, it's like therapy to me. And I don't like therapy. Like, you know, the only therapy that I've had is court ordered therapy. So I was forced to fucking be there, you know what I'm saying? Like, they said that I have to be there. And I was talking to some fucking stranger um, about my problems, or trying to at least, and it just it just didn't really work for me. And, and I like to make rage-filled music, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I like to make rage-filled music, so it only fucking makes sense. That while I'm raging on fucking stage, talk about punching you in your face, that I'm gonna get off the stage, run up in the fucking crowd, and punch you in your fucking mouth. And it's not, it, it, it's just, it's how I get down. It's a, 
every show is like going to war. That's how I feel when I get out of it, at least, because shit, once I tap into that, like, like that inner being within me, it's like, whatever song is on, I'm the embodiment of that song. And so if my shit is about chaos, I'm going in that pit and I'm unleashing hell. And, I mean, shit, I mean, it's it's all love, though, I swear. I swear to God, it's love. Even if I punch you in your face, too. I love you. I fucking love you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just, you can't be no bitch if you're going to be in my pit. That's what I've always said. It's like, if you don't want to be in the pit, don't be in it. You know, stand back. And if nobody's in the pit, I mean, there's always been people in the pit when I mosh, but... If there was no one in the fucking pit, I'm gonna I'm gonna just mosh with myself. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I'm here to rage. If I gotta beat myself up, I'm gonna beat myself up. But don't but don't get it twisted though. It's all love because any any show I've done and I've done that shit, like hit somebody real good or whatever, they always tell me like, yo, that shit was real as fuck. Like that was love right there. And I'm like, yeah, you already know what's up, man. Fucking give me a hug or some shit. Come on, bring it in, bring it in. You know, but then I'm, and also the fans, they fucking love it. Cause I, like, I've had some people, like, I've had some people at the shows, like, they're like, yo, punch me in my face. I'm like, bet, punch me in my face too, goddammit. Like, everybody punches me, like, around here, in my arms, pushes me, slings me around, but nobody punches me in my fucking, in my fucking face, or even like my noggin. It's like, I mean, okay, <laughs> but, you know, it's not like I'm going to get mad. I fucking just deck this dude in his fucking jaw. So, of course, he can deck me in my <laughs> I've definitely beat the dog shit out of people. <laughs> I have. I've been there. I've done that. I've been fighting since I was a little rug rat, you know, like, and I was always ready to fight way back then. I didn't give a fuck. I was like, I spoke my mind. I was ignorant. Fucking like, talking about something. Man, nobody finna fuck me up. Little, little tough guy. You know? I've won most fights. I've lost some fights. You know, it's just a part of what comes with it. It don't really harm my pride too much. But, you know. I can't really put a number on it, to be honest. I'll probably, if I had to put it like a number right away, I'd probably say about... 10 real fights in my life actual fights but when i do fight it's crazy like this fucking rage in me just lets out flaming engulfs i'm ready to kill you yo the cover art business is booming shit is fucking booming you know that's always been my money maker really i mean i don't make like a shit ton of money off music you know like i have some good months you know with music where it's like oh shit like you know, I just saw a good check from that. That's cool as fuck. But, like, I can't rely on just that to be able to do what I need to do. So I have to use my other talent, which is art. I've been drawing all my life. I've always been really fucking good at drawing. In school, I wasn't doing too much. You know, I was, like, fucking... I always, like, had good grades and shit or whatever because I guess I'm a fucking smart motherfucker. But, like, drawing and shit... It's what I was doing most of the time. I got real fucking good at that, like, real fucking good. And I learned to control it. started as me just, like, drawing something on paper, like computer paper, and Photoshop, taking a picture and Photoshopping it. And then I got an iPad. I started drawing on that and fucking making all kinds of shit. That opened so many doors for me, and it turned into a business. Full-time job. And... I can't say that I'm mad at it. I mean, it has its ups and downs, just like any other job. But starters, I gotta deal with fucking rappers. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that in itself is just fucking annoying. But, I mean, I can't complain about the money I'm making. I'm self-made, making money off of it. Going hard with it. I got my own style. The sharp teeth with the uh, X eyes. That's my shit with a jagged little smile with the two dots for the eyes. <laughs> Just those faces, like, yeah, that's my money maker. Love it. Love doing it. Music and artwork. That's how I make my bread. That's how I bring the bread in. Fuck no, I don't want no face tat. 
I mean, not right now at least. But I don't know where I'll be like later in life. I don't know what headspace I'll be in, but I might. I don't know. But as of right now, hell no, nah, because I'm scared of my mama. Straight up. My mama is crazy. I get my crazy from my mama. My mama will cut that shit. Like, not no Brillo pad or carve, like, burn it off. No, she gonna get a knife and she gonna carve it off my face. Because this shit right here, this shit right here, it's my mama's face, too. And I can't be fucking this shit up. I honestly just, I don't think that I need face tats to fucking prove that I'm with the shits. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like motherfuckers who get face tats, I mean, that's them. Like, you do your thing and everything, you know? But that that it, it just ain't me. I ever see myself falling in love. Oh, fuck Christ. Here the fuck we go again. Um, I am in love. Okay? Um, I don't want to say too much about it, but there's just this one girl who I got some stuff history with it's a really fucking confusing situation and i would have to sit here and babble on about it for fucking hours for anybody to understand it but yeah i do no i don't think she does <laughs> my music is like uh, that's one thing about us where we're different she listens to way fucking different music than i do and my music is just she listens sometimes i think like she might go check something out, but listen to it like, oh my god, I need to put this in my playlist. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> no. <laughs> she ain't, she ain't with it like that. <laughs> All my fucking life, like, since I was like, I want to say like eight years old, I've been fucking skateboarding. I've been going hard to see. I've been skating, I don't know, I've been skating somewhere around ten years, but... Yeah, I go fucking hard with that skateboard, for real. To this day, I still skateboard. And I be fucking throwing tricks down. My bag of tricks is crazy. And like, shit, hey. Any rapper. The skates wants to put money down on a game of skate. I'm your fucking guy. I want that shit. I want all the smoke on the skateboard. I need that shit out. Let's get it. I want that. I will take your money in a game of skate. And I, you mark my motherfucking words. What's my best trick? I would say that my best trick... I don't know, I got a bunch of good tricks, really. I mean, this is one trick, it's called a fuck your bitch flip. Me and my homies named it. It's a, it's a varial kick flip with a sex change, which is like a 180 body varial, and, but it's in the opposite direction of the board, so it's like... And it just looks so clean. We call it a fuck your bitch flip because it's like, if I do this in front of your bitch, your bitch is mine. Like, I just took your bitch. I'm gonna go fuck your bitch. That's that's how it got its name. But I can also do, like, tray flips, hard flips, inward heels, fucking leg shoves. All, I got a huge bag of tricks. I got nolly burial heels, fucking nolly big heels, fucking, I even got, like, some traditional tricks, like, Flamingos and shit. Yup. Um, I don't really have much of a message other than do whatever the fuck makes you happy. Fuck shit up. Anarchy. Rock and roll. And fucking go beat the dog shit out of your neighbor or something. I don't know. Do it within reason. Like, don't go to jail for no dumb shit, though. But yeah, just fuck shit up at all costs. Be you. Do whatever you want. Stop giving a shit what people think. You know what I mean? Like, shit, I'm a goddamn musician. I don't give a fuck what people think. I deal with hate on the daily. And I mean, I'm on my way to live my fucking dream from now. And if I can do it, y'all ass definitely fucking can do it too. Fuck the bitch. <laughs> my track is on fish. Yeah. Five, four, Straight three, two, one, go. Bitch, don't fucking look at me, bitch. Suck my dick. I need drugs till I fucking come a dog. Come a bitch, man, boy, turn his ass to a gun.